All right, morning everybody, it's Kate. How are you? I hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this, but just to let you know when I film it, it is Tuesday. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna go over what's on my base because I'm not gonna do a video on it. I have the Sonia Kashuk palette. This is in my video of what YouTube made me buy it. Kristen Game talked about this one, so I had picked it up. I'm also wearing a Jordana Blush number 32 Rose Silk. And this is just a pretty blush color. I like it a lot. I'm wearing the Jordana Eye Pencil as a base. This is in Continuous Almond, so I'm checking that out. And then my mascara as always, mostly I Heart Extreme. Alright, so let's get started. So what I'm talking about today is my brushes from the Royal Care Cosmetics. I did contact the company, um, what, over a week ago, and I never ever got an email back. So people say that their customer service is great. Um, they never emailed me back, so I don't know. I would purchase from them again, though. I won't hold it against them. So anyway, what I have, let me pull them all out. I should have been a little bit more prepared. Um, the only one I didn't really use was the, so I kept them in this little container that I have. The only one I re really didn't use was this one. I didn't, I don't know, I just didn't find a purpose for it. Uh, yeah. So I have washed everybody, um, and I haven't used them. I used different brushes this morning to apply my makeup. So let's get right into it. So the eye brushes that they had... I feel bad, but the only ones, okay, let's just say this. I think it's great for the amount that they cost, okay? The face brushes, just buy them, because these are amazing. I think they were fifteen ninety five. dollars um, These are very comparable to my Sigma ones um, and my crown brush. I have crown brush, I couldn't remember. <laughs> It's early. I'm only like a quarter of the way through my coffee. But anyway, so, okay. So this is their, well, yeah. What do you want me to do? I'll do eyes first. Okay. So here's eyes. I didn't use these as much, but I did use these. So, and they didn't give you an eye spoolie, I don't think. All right. So these were the two that I didn't really use. These are the, um, the liner ones. I think I only used this little guy once. I'm trying to put it against my face so you can see it. <laughs> I'm funny to myself. I may not be funny to you, but anyway. So I liked those. This one, I don't really know what to do with it. It's the um, shadow brush like that. I'm not really sure. I did like this is a crease brush. Um, yeah. It, it, it's hard, that's all I can say, is I don't love it. It's not my favorite. My favorite crease brush is this one they don't make anymore. It's the Revlon Contour Shadow. I just happen to have it right here. This is my favorite. Um, I did really like this slanted brush. It's a, a tapered brush. I liked this. I used it the other day, yesterday, in, in a video <clears throat> the other day to get into my crease to like blend up with different colors so that was cool I did use this one um, this is the I'm thinking this is supposed to be their crease blender I think it's supposed to look like this one and it doesn't really so maybe not all their brushes are the same maybe the quality like they don't have good quality control because I don't really think this one is supposed to look like this yeah but I mean for tight creases it would be great like if you have smaller eyes I would definitely recommend it. Um, I believe this is supposed to be a liner brush. They are not labeled, so I couldn't really tell you what they say, um, like what they're for. I'm just going with what I know from the brushes that I have, okay? Okay. So that's the liner brush. I like this. It's not thin enough, so I wouldn't recommend using it for line. You could probably use it to line your underneath. Um, and use it as a something to smoke out. This is a concealer brush. I did use this for eyeshadow. I used it for um, cream eyeshadow. So this would be great for cream eyeshadow. It would be great for concealer. It would be great for spot 
spots, whatever. This brush is supposed to be their eyeshadow brush. I don't like the fibers. It's too hard. It's not soft. Um, I don't know. I don't really have anything nice to say, so it's not that great. Um, so yeah, it's just, uh, you can tell by the bristles. They're, these are synthetic. They're not actual hair. Yeah. So I don't love them, sorry. But in that kit, I got all these other brushes. So what else did we get? We got these. So these were worth it, I think, because I think I paid $14.95 or $15. I got mine off of Amazon. You can order directly from them. And their coupon code is 5 off deal. So, I don't know. I really want the gold. It's like a gold champagne um, like collection. So I might order that because I'm a sucker for eyeshadow and stuff. So these brushes were amazing. If you did nothing and you just like kind of randomly used the other ones, I think it would be definitely worth it because I really like these brushes. This is a, a face contour slash blush brush. I like this one. It's it's really perfect. This is like, I think this is my favorite. I have one from Crown, and they're exactly the same in terms of um, structure. This one is a, just slightly bigger in terms of like, this is the RC Cosmetics one, or yeah, RC Cosmetics. Royal Care. Royal Care Cosmetics. So there's a little logo. I do unfortunately wish they had like a little thing like this is the crown one so if you wanted to order the crown one there's that one it's the 435 large contour brush crowns kind of hard you have to make a minimum of $25 and then if you don't know the name of the brush you could get the wrong brush it's kind of random I mean I've ordered from them a lot so I have a lot of crown brushes but anyway so this is a good one Alrighty. and then this is a face powder brush I do really really like this one it's kind of big um, it was a little hard when I first got it. I was able to soften it up with the stuff that I use. So for me, it was a great all over powder brush. Yeah. And I'm still looking for one. Like I love my elf ones, but I'm still really looking for like a nice face powder brush that I can use all the time. And my search is still on. Like I like that one. I like my other ones, but I don't know what I want. So I'm keep looking. Um, this is a duo fiber brush. I love this one. I used this the other day for contouring. This is a great brush. Um, it cleaned really well. See? It cleaned super great. Um, actually all the brushes really cleaned well except for the duo fiber ones. They, no matter what brand you have, they, they tend to not clean as well as they could. And I had lost this lip lacquer and I, now I just found it. So, ta-da! So these are the um, the base brushes. If you buy nothing else, like I said, you should buy these because these are a complete dupe for the Sigma ones. And not only that, they are less expensive. I think you paid for all of these for one brush, either from Crown or Sigma. These were for one you could get all four. So I really, really love this one. It's the tapered like point brush. I used this a lot under my eye. It was just amazing. And I'm going to do a brush video and a giveaway, I mean a cleaning video and a giveaway soon. I think I'm going to do it next week because I couldn't help myself. I had to wash all my brushes. I was trying. I was really trying, but I have a little bit of OCD where my brushes are concerned. I have to wash them every like two days. Um, and they were sitting on my counter and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't like let them sit there for another day. So this is the flat top Kabuki. I really love this one. Uh, it cleaned great. If you can see it, it cleaned awesome. And it's just, it's perfect to blend out stuff. I used my, my, I used the Sigma one this morning. You can see. And I didn't like it as good, which is kind of surprising, but I, it, I don't know what happened. It just smeared my stuff, but I like their slanted brush. Um, I feel like it'll pack on a little bit more product. So yeah, so these, I mean, again, it cleaned really well. I like the fibers. It did loosen a little, which is nice. Um, it was a great, great use. This is the rounded top Kabuki. I think it's great. Uh, you can just buff everything out. 
You could probably use it for like a wet highlight too. Um, like if you have a cream highlight, a wet highlight, you like that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so early. Okay, so that's it. That's my review of the Royal Care Cosmetics brushes. I hope you enjoyed this. And let me know if you have them or if you've purchased them before. Um, like I said, I got mine off of Amazon. I will likely purchase the other ones maybe, maybe like sometime later in the month. I'm not really sure. I gotta look at them some more and see if I like really, really want them. But yeah, if you have a brush brand that you really love, um, share it with me because I am always looking for a new brush. I have tons, and I do have my favorites that I go back to all the time, but that doesn't mean you can't have new favorites. 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 All right, so have a great day, and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Keek. And if you watched me on Instagram this weekend, we made a project upstairs for the girls. So check it out. Make a comment or whatever. Um, I would love it. And yeah. Subscribe, it's free.